Welcome to your bedtime yoga class. Whether you've been working all day or you've been out and about being active and exploring, this yoga practice is perfect for you. We'll be relaxing and stretching out sore muscles, so you'll be all ready to go to bed when we're done. So grab your yoga mat, put on some comfy clothes, and let's get started. Start on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining butterfly position. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch, knees open wide, and rest your left hand over your heart, right hand over your belly. Feel the natural rise and fall of your belly as you breathe, and your heart beating against the palm of your hand. Eyes are closed. Feel fully relaxed. As you breathe in, bring your knees up together to touch. Walk your feet out towards the outer edges of your mat and open your arms into a T-shape. Gently windshield wipe your knees from side to side, rolling across your low back, releasing any tension that you're holding in your back, moving through the hip joint. Next time your knees fall to the right, leave them there and turn your gaze across the left shoulder if it feels okay for your neck. If you'd like, you can bring the right heel on top of your left thigh and get more of a stretch into your quad. Soften into this twist with every breath you take. crossing your legs, bring your legs up to center. So now you're in your figure four position. You can stay here if you'd like, or bring your legs in towards your chest, threading your right arm in between your legs. Grab hold either behind the left thigh or in front of your left shin. Relax your shoulder blades down onto your mat. Your neck is long against your mat. There's one long line from the base of your skull down to your tailbone. If you want to intensify this stretch, begin to press your right elbow into your right knee, opening up the knee a little bit wider. Deep breaths in. Slow breaths out. Imagine any tension in your body releasing out into the air around you with every breath out. baby posture. So bringing the right knee in towards your right armpit, you can hold on to your shin, your ankle, or the side of your foot. And if it feels okay for your back, you can extend the left leg along your mat. Start to take some gentle circles with the heel of your foot towards the sky. Change direction of those circles. Perhaps you want to extend and bend your knee into the hamstrings a little bit more. You just want to make sure that both hips stay level on your mat, even through those movements. 
And if you'd like, you can bring yourself into a point of stillness. Feeling your outer ribs pressing into your thigh with each breath in. Sinking your knee closer to the earth with every breath out. And again, just imagining that tension leaving your body. Hug your knee in towards your chest now. Apanasana, wind relieving posture. And then extend the sole of your foot up towards the sky. You can wrap your hands around the back of your thigh, maybe giving yourself a little massage here, working into any tension points up into the top of your leg, maybe into your foot, if you can reach your foot, your ankle, Achilles, wherever feels tight and sore, just give it a little massage, give it some love. And then you're gonna gradually draw your leg in towards you, holding onto a point of your leg that's best for you so that you can keep your arms relaxed towards the earth. You're not hugging your shoulders up towards your ears at all. You're not tensing. The weight of your arms brings your leg closer to you. Now, if this is uncomfortable for your back at all, you can re-bend the opposite leg. Extend both soles of your feet up towards the sky. Option to extend your hands up towards the sky as well for your dead bug posture. Giving a little release into the wrists and the ankles. Shake it out. Roll out the ankles and the wrists. Eventually, you'll come to a point of stillness. Sinking your arm bone into the shoulder socket. Leg bone into the hip socket. And it should feel as though your limbs are weightless suspended in air. It's a great way to drain out the lymphatic system and relax the body and the mind. Bend your knees, place the soles of your feet down onto your mat, open your arms out into a T-shape once again, and windshield wipe your knees from side to side. Next time your knees fall to the left, leave them there, turn your gaze across the right shoulder, and then maybe pick up your left ankle and place it on top of your right leg. Ensure that both shoulders are sinking down into the earth. If the right shoulder wants to peel away from your mat, sink it back down. This twist should be coming from your core to allow your body to detoxify, releasing anything that it no longer needs and that does not serve it. Just as the body detoxifies, we'll detoxify the mind as well, releasing any thoughts from your day, any worries, surrendering them down into the ground beneath you. Inhaling, let, exhale, go, let, go. As you breathe in, bring your legs back up through to center, taking that figure four shape in your legs. Maybe staying there, maybe threading left arm in between your legs, holding onto your shin or the back of your thigh. Deep breaths here, releasing any tension through the sides of your hips. And again, just relaxing your arms down into your mat. Back stays long.
return to that mantra. Let go. Release the hold on your leg, bring the sole of your foot down to your mat, and make your way into half happy baby once again. So holding on to the shin, the ankle, your foot, either keeping your right leg bent or extending it out in front of you, and start to take those circles with your heel in one direction changing directions, keeping your hips level on your yoga mat, maybe straighten and bend your leg, I like to keep my right hand on my hip just to ensure that the hips stay level on my mat, eventually you'll just hold this half happy baby in stillness, Again, feeling the outer ribs pressing into your inner thigh with each breath in. And sinking back together with each breath out. towards you and then extend the sole of your foot up towards the sky starting with that little massage on the back of your leg working your fingers into any tight points up and down your leg wherever feels tight and eventually you'll just hold on to your leg slowly drawing it in towards you Try to flex your toes towards your face. And again, if this is hard on your back at all, re-bend the right leg and place the sole of your foot on your mat. Every breath in, your leg will lengthen. Every breath out, it moves a little bit closer towards you. bug posture once again roll out the wrists and ankles shake out your hands and feet and then hold in stillness feeling the limbs suspended in air once again bend into your legs Take a nice big stretch, reach hands and feet away from one another, take a deep breath in, on your breath out let it go, roll onto your right side for fetal position, using your right arm as a pillow for your head, staying here for some mindful breath. yourself up to seated. Cross your legs in front of you. Place your hands on tops of your knees and take some nice shoulder rolls, releasing any tension in the shoulders. Take those circles in the opposite direction. And come back through to center. Clasp your hands behind your back, roll shoulders back and down, inhale, open through your heart, and as you breathe out, you're going to hinge from your hips and fold forwards. Now, if that's not comfortable for you, you can stay upright, just opening through your chest. You may also want to support your forehead with a block or any type of prop that might be around you. Now 
next breath in, come back up and let go of that hold. Cross your left arm across your body, holding on to your arm with the opposite hand. Feel a nice stretch into your upper back. across your body, left hand will pull gently that arm across, see if you let it stretch into the back and the shoulder girdle, let it go, switch the cross in your legs, opposite leg be in front. to bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Gently turn your nose towards your armpit and then bring it back up. Do this a few times until you find that sweet spot where you feel the stretch the most and then stay there. Maybe you'll take your left hand and place it on top of your head, not to pull it down at all, just to add a bit of weight to your head. rotations through your, with your head to find that sweet spot where you feel the stretch the most. And then if you'd like, place right hand on top of your head. Feel your sit bones grounding down towards the earth as the crown of your head reaches up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders down your back. Slow and steady breaths in. Slow and steady breaths out. Let go. Let everything that it does for you throughout the day. Setting your intention before you go to bed. And thinking of one thing that happened in your day today that you feel grateful for. Start to rub the palms of your hands together, create friction between the palms of your hands. And then place your hands over tops of your eyes. 
slowly open your eyes underneath your hands and then brush your hands over top of any points of tension in your body. Thank you so much for practicing with me. From my heart to yours, namaste.